Good day, everybody. Welcome back. This is Kevin Hogan, author of uh, 21 books translated into 41 languages all around the world. Today, four hypnotically charismatic language patterns. When are you going to use these? When you need to build rapport that's deeper and more profound than a simple identification with another person. And then re-establishing rapport at a high level in the middle of a conversation later after you've had a chance to communicate with somebody so you can actually, you don't have to go about testing the rapport. This accomplishes it for you. The first hypnotically charismatic language pattern that I want to share with you is this. You are obviously a man who appreciates quality. You're obviously a woman who is seen as enjoying the finest. Now, pause. Is seen as enjoying is critical. Is seen as enjoying says to this person's non-conscious mind, that Rolodex in the person's brain, that all of those people that this person answers to in their own mind, not in real life, but in their own mind, that Rolodex of people, this person is now seen as enjoying the finest in the Rolodex because you suggested that be the case. So you are obviously a woman who is seen as enjoying the finest, or you're obviously a woman who is very astute. Now, watch the difference here now. You're obviously a woman who is seen as being very astute. Huge difference, right? Because the Rolodex gets triggered and all of, this, all of a sudden her list of names that she has to answer to for all of her decisions in life and all of the things that really matter about what she does in life in her mind, that Rolodex is triggered by is seen as astute. So you can also use, for example, you're obviously a man who understands how other people feel, or you're obviously a man who catches on quite quickly, or you're obviously a woman who can spot an opportunity, or you're obviously a woman who is seen as spotting opportunities quickly. You can see the benefits of both, and you can see the extra potent potency of uh, is seen as. Cool? All right, nobody's ever shown you that one before. That's trade secret number one. Okay, next up. The second hypnotically charismatic language pattern is one thing I've noticed about you. Okay, so that's our fragment, if you will. It really isn't a fragment. It's actually a, a doesn't matter. One thing I've noticed about you is how insightful you are about others. One thing I've noticed about you, why is this important, by the way? Why is this so critical that it's one thing I've noticed about you. One thing I've observed, this isn't something that I'm speculating, hypothesizing, that I'm guessing at. This is something I've noticed. One thing I've noticed, this is a fact. I have observed this behavior in you. This is a fact. I have noticed this behavior in you. One thing I've noticed about you is how comfortable you are with yourself. Most people aren't like that. One thing I've noticed about you is the way that you inspire confidence in other people. One thing I've noticed about you is how quickly you grasp the real meaning of a conversation. Now think about that for a second. One thing I've noticed about you is how quickly you grasp the meaning of a conversation. What does this imply? This implies that almost nobody else does that. This is so remarkable that the person is being noticed as grasping meaning in conversation. Most people don't. I notice that. And I observe that this person does indeed have that trait. Extremely cool. Okay, third one. I can tell it's important to you that you see other people's point of view. Or I can tell you, uh, <laughs> I can tell you, I can tell it is important to you that it's, it's known that you're the person who sees other points of view. Cool? Okay, you see the extra bonus there, right? Or I can tell it's important to you that you demand the best in others. Another way you can utilize that is I can tell it's important to you that you feel right about a decision before just jumping in. Or I can tell it's important to you that you make the most of your leisure time. Or perhaps I can tell it's important to you that others are very honest with you and that you are honest with them as well, right? Pretty huge. These are all monsters. But maybe my favorite one is this. When it comes to charisma, charisma is sort of a relationship 
experience. Charisma is not just about how amazing I am or just how amazing you are. Charisma is a relationship. I believe that this person that say you are charismatic and because you're charismatic I know that you are into me even though there might be 500 people back here behind me that you're talking to too but I know that you are really thinking and focusing on me and that everything that you're saying is all about me, the person in front of you. That's what charisma really is. It's sort of this interactive relationship. Charisma is not just like a person's really cool. A person is really cool and they really want you. They're so externally focused that they want you to have the awesome experience. So the thing I've always admired about you is your focus and your vision. Now this is really cool because the thing I've admired about you that means this is not just a notice, like I just noticed this today or like maybe sporadically, but this is the thing I've always admired about you. When you use that word admired, that means the person knows that you not only respect them, but appreciate them, okay? Respect and appreciation are part of a formula for trust, particularly with women more than anyone, but the thing I've always admired about you is your focus and vision. The thing I've always admired about you is how strongly you feel about your decisions. The thing I admire most about you is how direct your communication is. And th you could say that right after a person just cuts you up about s in some way, they're really rough on you or even mean, you can always say, you know, the thing I've always admired about you, John, Jane, Bill, is, is that your communication is just so direct and clear and succinct. And all of a sudden you diffuse the anger that was there and it sort of just goes all about and the person is now admired. It is very hard to be mean or unkind to someone, anything but respectful and appreciative of people who admire you, right? The thing I've always admired about you is the way that you see and say exactly what you mean. The thing I've always admired about you is the way that you say exactly what you mean. I, that was my Aunt Sandra. She said exactly what you mean. I've spoken about her a hundred times, maybe a thousand, maybe 10,000 times. Okay. And, 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 and she could be tough on you too, right? You get hurt sometimes. But the thing I always admired about her, if she was standing right here, I'd say is the way you say exactly what you mean. Cool. All right, and finally, one of the other cool ways to utilize the thing I've always admired about you is the way that you embrace your hopes and dreams. If you use these four hypnotically charismatic language patterns, you will not only be able to reconnect with rapport, you will not only be able to earn the respect and appreciation of the person that is standing across from you or sitting across from you, but you will be able to effectively hold rapport, hold strength of a relationship ongoing do all of these tools, apply them, practice them. Don't just go out and start rambling, right? Practice. Know what you're going to say. Think about it before you say it and have a great day. I'll see you here next time.